Salutations and good morrow, everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm going to be doing something that was requested quite a few times during my last couple live streams of Grounded, and that is, Sim, what's the best places um, in 5.0 to set up a couple starter bases. So what I have in this video for you guys is my idea of the best five places to set up some starter bases for everything that's not only coming inside of update 5.0, but what else is going to be coming throughout the next couple updates as well. As you guys can see, the first place that I wanna to talk to you guys about is actually building on a lily pad inside of the pond. Yes, because the pond update is the large update that is coming in 5.0. So what I would suggest is you guys just go through and build yourself a little two by three three little house right here uh, super simple uh, layout guys don't do anything drastic when it comes to these bases you don't need it um, this is just basic basic stuff just to give you some outposts to go out and build things out and get yourself a base for exploring setting some respawn points and all of that so that's why I've went ahead and done this like I said it's gonna be just some very very basic stuff here um, nothing too fancy the only thing I would suggest is a window at some point around these um, just just in one direction so you can keep an eye out so I like to do it back towards the pond uh, that way there's you know light and all of that especially with the addition of the Hornets coming to the game at some point as well it's gonna be important that you guys uh, keep your eye on the sky and keep an eye out because the Hornets will actually attack your base and will destroy things for you if you are not careful so, like I said, very, very, very basic bases here, guys. Don't go over the top. What I would suggest that you do, um, at least inside of them, though, is four things, okay? Each base should have four things. Now, um, one is a light. You should always have at least a light inside of your base. This is super helpful to have one of these because it does get dark in the game, and inside some of these bases, it can get kind of hard to see. Uh, the second thing you guys should have inside of your base is some sort of sleeping mechanism, whether it is the lean-to or the simple bed. Now, I am in creative, so obviously I can just put things down, but a lean-to is a super good, useful item. It's not as good as the bed. Uh, you don't get any bonus items from using the bed, obviously, but it's just a cool aesthetic item to have. So, giving yourself somewhere where you can... Um, put up some put up some uh, sleep there and, and be able to pass the night by is is super important so I would suggest you guys do that um, get yourself a storage chest that's item number three a storage chest is super important because you never know what kind of items you're gonna need on your journey while you're running about okay you guys could run through maybe you're running out of armor glue and you need to repair your armor you need some quartzite to repair a couple of your weapons maybe you want to build some new weapons and that's where the last thing that you guys I believe is a super essential thing for each base and that is obviously guys a workbench now how you guys want to adjust and do things on your own from here on out and make it your own base and everything like that is completely up to you but this setup right here is my guide to what the best starter base items should be inside of your base and you can look it's very simple there's not much to it the foundations are not that difficult and you guys will say well sim it's hard to get over here how did you get over here how are you going to get your resources there and I will say, guys, I didn't have to build any sort of um, bridges or anything to get over here. Literally, what it is, is jumping from lily pad to lily pad from this stick right here. So that right there, that location where that house is, I'll go into my map to show you guys. Literally, right here, halfway between the edge of the water and the T-Rex that's under the underwater, right there on that lily pad. That is a fantastic place to build a base, one of these starter bases, and I would suggest that everybody has one there as an outpost. You never know when you're going to need it. All right, let's run over to the second one that I want to talk to you guys about. Now, this is an area where I had bases, and I've had bases in the game since the beginning. Okay, it's a really good spot. It brings you up and away from everything, and at the moment, uh, where this base is, nothing will be able to get your food stores. So this base, even though it's considered an outpost, would also be a fantastic place to put down all of your food production items from all of your mushroom growing beds, uh, also your your um, water items and stuff like that, your dew collectors, um, and everything else that you can use for food-like items, including your smoothie maker. Um, keeping all of that over in this area would be super helpful, so I would suggest you guys all do that. Now, of course, I am talking about being up on top of the log that's right over here on top of this little fence-like area. So all you do to get up here, guys, and this is why no bugs can get up here, is because you have to run up this leaf, okay? You just run up this leaf, and then right here. 
There we go. So this is where I would suggest to build a base, guys. Really simple like before. Uh, this one, I would suggest to be a 3x3, three three, though. A little bit bigger. It's going to help you have a little bit more room for your food gathering items. So like I said, just do a simple 3x3. Three three. Um, of course, I just built something randomly in the middle of nowhere. Um... Be careful with where you're placing things here as well. You never know how things are going to line up. So just be careful about your placement. Obviously, as you can see, I totally messed up my placement there. Um, but what I will say that you can do. So say you get down one uh, foundation, right? And you're like, well, semi, I can't put down any more foundations that's fine don't put down foundations anymore put down grass floors because grass floors can float at the moment so just get yourself a couple grass floors here right here come on build there we go and just put yourself down a couple grass floors like this to get yourself your base set up uh, this is a very basic setup a very good way to do it put your walls around there and you're good to go this is going to be your inside building and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have something like a porch that comes off the back side this way now you may be saying sim why do you need a back porch that goes off this way because then none of the bugs in the game can get your stuff so what it will end up looking like i'm going to just do this with a really simple wooden door here is it'll look a lot like this okay you'll have your door here and then outside of your base is where you're actually going to put down uh your mushroom grow beds i would suggest two if you're playing solo four if you're playing with other people and then if you're going to do do collectors um two if you're playing solo um and then five to seven if you're playing with uh more players than than what you actually um have there so yeah so very basic setup guys get yourself a pretty basic base have a door on both sides and get your mushroom grow beds going up on top of here okay the next place we're gonna run to guys is right over at the baseball i'm gonna meet you guys there all right guys so here we are at the baseball and there is a reason why i chose this to be one of the best places for a outpost and also what i will say is this is also the best place for a starter base that you're actually going to be spending a little bit of time in you're going to want to spend a little bit more time building up this base and getting this one a little bit more robust i know you're supposed to make smaller bases but i would suggest this going to be a four by four it's a little bit bigger than what your standard base would be but i would highly suggest it so all you have to do is get up here and you literally have to to put down one foundation okay you get down one foundation whether it be piglet or the um clay foundation here you get down one and then like i did in the last one you guys just use these floors to build yourself out an awesome base just like that and then like i said do a four by four because this base should be slightly larger because you're going to be spending more time in this base because this is your starter base this is where everything's going to kick off and this is where you're going to be the safest in the starting part of the game none of the bigger enemies come over to this area you're not going to have to contend with much more than say the random orb weaver that happens to walk through um or ladybugs really are your biggest thing no bombardier beetles no wolf spiders really come over to this area you're obviously gonna have soldier ants uh, because the ant hill is just right over there but still this is a good place to start get yourself up everything you can here have this be a good spot for a starting storage before you guys build your big base that's gonna have all of your storage and all of your everything else items in it um, but this is a great place to start that base i would highly suggest everybody builds here all right so the next one we're going to go to is actually over in what i like to call the wasteland i know that sounds a little goofy but i'm going to run over there and explain why i call it the wasteland so i call it the wasteland because everything in the area has died it is either um either dead grass or no grass at all this is quite a more dangerous area to build in but there is a reason why i say to build over here guys the reason why i say to put up a small base over here this is the area right here that i'm talking about uh the reason why i say to build up over here is because this is right outside of the haze and with future updates that are coming we all know that there is going to be a haze lab update at some point in the game if not very soon here so having yourself a very good starter base set up over here this is the location right here by the way nice and flat literally right outside of the haze and you will be able to have a good storage point a good respawn point and a safe point where the only thing you're really gonna have to worry about over here is some stink bugs from time to time which as long as you're wearing a gas mask because you're by the haze anyway you should be okay and and then obviously soldier ants so i would not suggest storing food in this location because the soldier ants will fight their way through your base in order to get here so this is how i tend to build up this base to make it a little bit different um what i do is i actually go three um to four foundations in the air okay 
at this base. I try to get everything off of the ground. Uh, that way you feel a little bit safer in this base. You set yourself up two really, really quick staircases, just like that. See what I mean by sometimes you want it to go forward depending on the area that you're building in. Um, get that rotated around like that. Perfect. And then let's get that final foundation up here so I can show you what I'm talking about. So here you go. That's your base. That's the start to your base. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to do grass floors from here on out. Um, surrounding the rest of your base that you're building right here now this one once again small base with this one you do not want a lot of room here this is going to be a two by three guys really really small keeping yourself safe but what i would highly suggest with this one is windows all around this base uh that way you could keep an eye on what's coming towards your base you know when it's a good time to escape out of your base you know when it's a good time to stay in your base so this is this is actually a crucial base to have especially with the updates that are coming up so like I said, super simple here. I'm not going to do anything fancy besides just some stem walls and windows uh, and door here. Um, and then obviously just our, our roofing that we did on the last base as well. Uh, so guys, the last base location that I want to talk to you guys about is a little bit more tricky. Okay, it's harder to build over there because it's going to take some time uh, to get all your resources that you're going to require. But what that is going to do is set you up for when the big update drops that unlocks a very special area up in that location back over behind me there by the shed. So I'm going to run over there right now and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about with where I think you guys should build a base because it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get there. Okay guys, so here we are at the upcrop of where I want to actually talk to you guys about building the base. Okay, you guys will see me jump over a lot of rocks here while I'm climbing up here. What's up Mr. Crow? Um, we need to go right up over here, climb this giant rock that we have here and this will lead us up to where the base should go and yes i am talking about right on the cusp of this under construction sign uh right outside of all of this grass it is on this secondary rock that's right here now this is going to be the smallest of the bases that you build this is a simple two by two okay very very small base very simple uh no windows on this one only a door um and this should just be a lean to the uh light the storage box and also your workbench and what this is going to set you up for is no matter what comes in this update that's going to incorporate all the items over here and when they finally go through and update all of this area that's here that you guys see on the map all of this here this isn't updated yet this is all just the plain jane stuff it hasn't been fully updated so what this area right here is going to do is it's going to unlock a place for you that encompasses all of this area around you here if you guys look i have very specific bases for each area there's one that's right here that covers all of the haze that's here the base that's up here covers all of this the base that's over here on top of the baseball covers all of this area that's in here the log base covers all of this area that's centralized up here and then the pond base covers the entire pond now you guys will ask sim why don't you have a base that's set up over in the hedge and the answer to that question is because i don't believe it's an essential base the hedge is not somewhere you want to stay there's a lot of spiders over there there is a lot of um larva over there and let's be let's face it yes there's a lot of berries over there that you're going to need to get but that is a farming area not somewhere that's going to be super essential in the story and also the survivability in this game so that is my list of five base locations that i believe are super essential and the best places to set up some small outposts if you guys want to know what my favorite place to build a very large base is i'll be covering that in another episode because i have a couple different places for that as well so i cannot wait to share that with all of you guys but i would like to thank you guys all for watching this video if you could hit that like button for me that would be fantastic i do appreciate it give the old good old thumbs up for me if you guys let me know which one of my base locations you guys have seen is your favorite place to build a base and or if you've already built a base there i'll make sure i give your comment a heart that would be fantastic as well make sure you guys subscribe today turn your bell notification to all and also if you guys want to show a little bit of extra support for 99 cents you guys can become a member of the channel and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one